Over the last uh, decades, I've literally in interviewed thousands of candidates. And uh, as a technical company interviewing technical people, we look for very strong technical skills, good demonstration of that in both the coursework uh, that the graduates would have and their uh, actual experience, whether it's intern or full-time experience. Um, we're trying to uh, create a very, very good products. That means we, we need a lot of good talent to do that with a good solid work ethic and uh, the technical skills necessary. Okay. Discuss NI's leadership in making test and measurement equipment more flexible for users and more programmable in the field. So uh, looking at the history of uh, test and measurement, it all started back in the vacuum tube era when uh, General Radio uh, really excelled with the use of vacuum tubes and test and measurement. Then it moved to transistors and integrated circuits where Hewlett Packard was a key leader. Now as we see in many areas, software is center stage. And that's where National Instruments Technology comes in with PXI, which scales with Moore's Law. So instead of having discrete uh, new instruments built every decade or so, we can continually improve the performance and the capability through a software-based approach. Okay. Where do you spend your time? Um, um, a great deal of my time is uh, spent on product strategy, uh, and then secondly on the market marketing strategy to go with the products we're creating. Also driving a vision where we're trying to create a uh, very differentiated approach with our software-based approach. We call it graphical system design, uh, where we uh, want to combine this hardware, often PXI in this case, for test, test and measurement for LTE, uh, with uh, a software that gives more performance, uh, makes it quicker to implement a standard. Our vision is to be able to not only implement the test and measurement system, but uh, also prototype next generation uh, systems for communication applications. Okay. Well, you touched on the vision. Can you talk about where you see the industry going five to ten years out in the future, particularly as it uh, pertains to the wireless communication sector? Exactly. Well, as I mentioned, uh, I would say our vision is that uh, Moore's Law is, will continue to be uh, relevant in this time, five to ten year time frame, we'll see more and more bandwidth and performance packed into the same size devices for LTE, for example, uh, and software driving ever more performance for throughput rates, uh, communication throughput rates. That means that we have to be scaling with that, and our goal is to do that by with PXI systems and Epi, uh, with a combination of multi-core processing and FPGAs. Okay. Final question, describe your, your, your personal work environment here at the, the corporate office and uh, what message it sends to the rest of the company? Well, I spend a, a great deal of time on uh, communicating the vision. I do that both internally and externally at key conferences, uh, for example, in the communication area as well as many other areas. Of, test and uh, measurement and cyber physical applications. Uh, and I uh, spent a lot of time looking at the strategy for the new products, especially how we're going to map our vision to specific architectures and then on into specific implementation of products. The second step is the marketing strategy of how we're going to bring those products to market. And then I spend a great deal of my time visiting with customers. So talk about your workspace. I, I have a cube, which I'm uh, rarely in because I spend a lot of my time manage, uh, managing by walking around. Uh, I travel quite a bit too, so, uh, but uh, I, I uh, don't see any particular reason to have a cube any different than anybody else. Right. Prior to starting in I, we had worked at the university where we had taken then PDP-11 computers and used them to build a test system for acoustical measurements. It was an area that no off-the-shelf hardware actually worked for, so we had to design hardware and software. And it turned out it was very revolutionary if I, when I look at it in the rear view mirror, and that we were literally building virtual instrumentation. 
we were taking computers and digitizers and, and uh, arbitrary waveform generators and creating a virtual instrument solution. That's this combination of software and uh, digitizers and waveform generation capability to create a new way to build instruments. That would be the foundation idea for our virtual instrumentation, ultimately PXI systems that we, to this day, uh, use that approach uh, for building systems. Our latest vector signal transceiver uh, is a manifestation of this in the uh, communications area, where we have a transceiver with RF capability, input and output, uh, that builds a software-based approach for instrumentation in PXI. What makes, um, I just saw a LabVIEW presentation downstairs and, and uh, your product manager talked about the unique ability to take the LabVIEW platform and marry it with hardware. What makes that so difficult to replicate? Well, it's kind of the same reason that the iPhone has been so successful that uh, our combination of hardware and software tightly integrated with lots of drivers present create a standardized platform that can be shared across many applications. And there's literally hundreds of man years of effort to make that the drivers and integration work so well. And so it's that effort that simplifies the end user's uh, job. So instead of having to for example, uh, write to software to communicate between two FPGAs, you can simply draw a wire in LabVIEW. Uh, under the hood, there's literally hundreds of man years of effort uh, that's been expended. If you're doing it one-off, you have to re recreate that. Uh, if you're doing it in a custom one-time design, it's not flexible. So LabVIEW is attempting to do both, be flexible and fast to implement systems. So, and it combines tightly with the driver software to, and the hardware and the custom ASICs and the like to create a very powerful way with a much higher productivity than traditional approaches.